Hi, I'm Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God. And today we're going to continue our series uh, from my book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. And um, we're going to talk, we're talking, the whole book is about the joy of the Lord and the kingdom of God, um, which is the kingdom of God is the gospel that Jesus preached. And it's all about righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit, and it's for the end times. And that's what we're talking about. Um, right Today we're going to talk about what the gospel of the kingdom is. And you can see that in Luke 4.18. Um, Jesus preached the gospel, which means good news. And the first thing he did was he preached it, the good news of the gospel to the poor. Um, preach the gospel to the poor and what is good news to poor people is you don't have to be poor anymore because you have the kingdom of God and if you look at the covenant of Abraham which is part of the covenant it is prosperity because everything in the old covenant they were not saved they were not born again they didn't have a new um, they weren't new creatures they were the old sinful man and the only way God could bless them is through uh, prosperity through finances through increasing their herds their cows their goats um, their camels and everything that they had so everything in the Old Testament in the covenant of prosperity is about um, you're increasing your goods so that's our covenant but um, Jesus talks about that he says I am anointed with the Holy Spirit and power uh, and I go and he went around doing good healing all that were oppressed of the devil for the Spirit of God was on him and uh, Luke 14 says he preached the good news to the poor second thing he did was he healed the brokenhearted and this is directly from Luke 4:18. the third thing he did is he pr he gave freedom to the captives and captives are anybody who is bound by sickness disease poverty lack fear death and demons um, the next thing he did was recovery of sight to the blind that's physically and spiritually blind he wants to give you revelation he wants you to know his will and the next thing he did was set the oppressed free now if you, when we go over my book the first chapter is on joy and the um, the answer for oppression is joy, and that's how he set oppressed people free through joy. And also the joy of the Lord is our strength. Um, and then the next thing is proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And that was uh, the year of Jubilee when, he's, when uh, he said every so many years, everything that you, every land that you purchased, you return back to its original owner. Um, it's a year of Jubilee when uh, debts are forgiven. So the gospel of the kingdom is all those things includes your body, mind, spirit, and soul, your health, finances, and every area of your life because God wants you to live on earth as you will in heaven. That was his prayer and that was his will. So that's the gospel of the kingdom. Now let's make, uh, take a look at the main components of this awakening and revival um, and signs that you'll see. Um, the main one is righteousness-minded. Um, we are going to, God's people are going to begin to rise up and understand who they are in God, that they are the righteousness of God. It's not something that they earn. It's Righteousness is not your behavior, and righteousness is not something that's earned. Righteousness is what Jesus bought for you. You were a sinner, and now you're saved by grace, and you now are the righteousness of God. In other words, you are in right standing with God. He sees you without sin. He sees you as a new creature through the blood of Jesus. Um, the joy of God is going to be manifested in this end times. Um, and if you go, when we go over the chapter 1 on joy, you're going to see that that has to do a lot with laughter. So there'll be a lot of laughter and joy going on in this end time revival. There'll be peace because the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So those four things, righteousness, peace, and joy, and the Holy Spirit, those are the four components of the kingdom of God that is the major end time revival. Um, in this end time revival, people will walk in peace and authority. They'll walk in the presence of the Holy Spirit manifested in drunkenness on new wine, which you can read about in Acts 2 and John 2. And they will have a holy boldness. They will command, demand, and decree things. And it will be done for them because they will stand in the boldness and authority that the kingdom of uh, Jesus uh, put inside of us through the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus. Um, there will be signs and wonders, and um, including su supernatural things. We will be walking in the supernatural in these end times. A lot of people are afraid of the supernatural, but you know, we are a spirit uh, living in a spiritual realm, but we live in a physical body. So 
uh, the supernatural should be natural to us. The New Age has stolen a lot of the things that has been given to the Christians, and they, Satan took it, twisted it, and warped it, and made it into uh, his kingdom. So the Christians are confused about what belongs to them, and they think some of the things happening in these end times is New Age, but it's not. It's ours, and the New Age people has stolen it and twisted it from us. Um, they'll have great wealth given to them in this end time revival. They'll have restoration recompense, rec and recompense and vindication for things stolen from them. That will be a big thing. They'll walk in great faith because of their relationship with the Holy Spirit. Um, there'll, be, there'll be great strength, boldness and strength. Many, many signs and wonders in the heavens, in the earth, and uh, just phenomenal things that have never happened. Many, many religious people will be offended. Uh, because of this end time revival because they're going to say well it never happened like that before oh this is new age or oh they're getting into this but Jesus the church age started with the Holy Spirit it started with people that appeared to be drunk it started with people speaking in tongues and different languages they never learned in heavenly languages it started with a noise and a mighty wind um, and it started with great boldness signs wonders and miracles and God is not going to allow it to the end to be less than the beginning the end of all things the end of uh, before the Christian gets raptured out will be greater than the beginning so look for all of this stuff to begin to happen as you begin to walk in uh, the Holy Spirit and his power so that's it uh, for today um, and I'm Robin Bremer and I'll talk to you tomorrow